It is one of the Mid-State's biggest traditions and a huge moneymaker for community groups in Bedford. We're talking about the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. It's taking place right now in Shelbyville, bringing in thousands of people. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us critics want to know why this is happening in the middle of a pandemic. It's Bedford County's biggest event of the year, the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. And some critics of the walking horse industry are wondering why the event isn't being postponed or canceled during the pandemic. Why in the world are they having this celebration with people gathering and they can say what they will, but they're gathering, they're gonna be mixing to bring this COVID-19 to that community and then spread it to other communities. It makes no sense. Four days ago, far from these barns, the Kentucky Derby made the decision to run their delayed race this year without fans, something critics say they think the celebration should have considered. Comparing Churchill Downs, Kentucky Derby, September 5, same time as the celebration, they're not having any fans come out and be risked to this COVID-19 exposure. But the celebration says the Derby is not the celebration, with only 3,000 people spread out in a 30,000 seat stadium, some boxes roped off and visitors able to be reseated if they feel too close to anyone. We can spread out easily at, at, at a 10% to 15% capacity and have social distancing uh, without an issue. It's just, it's, it's a totally, there's not a lot of parties. You know, it's, it's a different type of event. The celebration says they have canceled after parties where social distancing cannot happen. And they say they'll sanitize the seating areas between each event. They say all employees will have temperature checks and masks required and spectators will be strongly encouraged to wear theirs. The, the common sense things you ask people, if you feel sick, don't be here. If, if you get a temperature, just don't be here. If you are sick, don't come. And then if you are here, abide by, you know, good common sense guidelines. Guidelines that organizers say will help keep everyone safe, while critics wonder if that will be the case. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.